what what are what are your thoughts what's been your experience with uh let's let's say nitrogen and sulfur together um for canola nutrition what's been your experience around that when i have discussions with farmers we kind of bring it to a simple statement it is a true statement that nitrogen is the workhorse of the plant uh, and for reproduction we also have to remember nitrogen doesn't like to work alone it is not a single, uh, I would say, worker in the workforce. It likes its potassium. I make an analogy at, at presentations that sometimes potassium is the bully in the plant to help keep the movement rolling. And, and that's how you got to think of how I think of it with potassium. And, and the other thing that we always think about is we always talk about people nutrition and how much of a balanced diet that people need to survive. A plant is a living organism and it needs the exact same diet and it has to be balanced. And so when we put those into perspective, it changes the dynamic of our thinking. So when it comes to canola, canola is treated as, I treat it like a living plant where it's the same and we need to balance that diet. Uh, and that involves the sulfur, the potassium, the nitrogen, uh, even the micros. Uh, and, and that's how we started to think about it. Balance the diet instead of focusing it on as a nutrient. Plants need food. Yeah, no no doubt. And and I, I think once you supply it to them, they, they start being the workhorse. I, I've... I, I like your analogy there about the potassium being the, the bully in the plant or, or the big brother or whoever it is just to make sure everybody's getting getting their tasks done. I've, I've never heard that before. So I'm, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that one. I'm going to shamelessly steal it from you. So 